Hey guys, welcome to the MMA bar. My name is Kasim. And I'm Jofre. And in today's topic, in today's video, we will be talking about Hamza Chimaev. Um, what's up with Hamza Chimaev, man? He fought at middleweight, he fought at welterweight, and now he's back at middleweight? It's like, just smash time. Yeah, he's going to smash everybody. That's what he keeps on saying, but he's fighting Damian Maia at welterweight. So, what's I, up with him? I think him, Hamza yeah. Chimaev, is so universal. Mm -hmm. He's such a great athlete mm -hmm. that he is both welterweight and a middleweight. So he's not just a uh, welterweight. He's not. He's not just a middleweight. Mm -hmm. He's not the guy who you would think about like, oh, maybe he would be great in middleweight. Oh, maybe he would be great in lightweight. Because we have a lot of fighters who would think about that way. But him, you cannot say, oh, he could be great in this one. Mm -hmm. He's just great in them both. Oh, and do you think that um, him and his opponent are just actually welterweights, but they are just skipping the weight cut. No, the, the his next fight, uh, Gerald Mescard, him, he's a decent middleweight. So he has always been a middleweight. Well, maybe it's uh, maybe he's fighting a middleweight because he don't he doesn't want to do the weight cut twice because he's fighting Damian Maya next. That's already has been it has been confirmed. Damian Maya is already training for it's Chimaev. It's official. Yeah. They, they, they haven't set a date, but it's official that they're going to fight. Okay, so how would you feel uh, if they booked you with uh, Kamza Chimaev? Mm -hmm. And then you know they, they've already booked him with someone else. Well, um, we define your question. I so I would, I would guess that somebody would feel disrespected because oh. of the way that they already they look past mm -hmm. Gerald Mascard. So uh, they would think like, ah, it's whatever. He, he will smash him. Well, um, I don't really think I don't really think that uh, Dana White was looking at Joel's per, uh, feelings. I think that Dana White was using this as a marketing tool to promote uh, Chimaev and to yeah put some more put a new face in the welterweight division because the welterweight division right now is really on fire. Yeah. And if you add that on, he is the one who's fighting. He's undefeated. He's he has two fights already scheduled, and he has fought um, in two different divisions in one week time. And that's really great to market. Mm -hmm. So um, I just think that Dana White said, um, "Yo, Joel, I don't care about your opinions or about your feelings. I'm just gonna do this because yeah. I want to make more money." Um, that's personally how I see it. And Chimaev is here to smash everybody. He has been talking trash, so I think that he has to show up and speak up. Um, to show that what he's saying is also also what he can do, you know, and I believe he can do it. He's a real fighter. But uh, the thing about Chimaev is very easy to market because it was the first fighter ever in the UFC who has been booked in two weeks. So two fights in two weeks. It was the first fighter ever. Also, he's gonna fight Damian Maya two weeks. No, later. no, no. It already has been. It's passed. So he oh. fought two times. Yeah. But two times in, in 10 days oh, in 10, 10, days. 10 days in 10 days oh, okay. that was the first fighter ever to do it so yeah. it is insane uh -huh. it is crazy how good the guy is he's just he's not just your average fighter he's a predator mm -hmm. he has a lot of skills and he has the agility he has the athleticism he's a very great fighter so i'm really looking forward to his career yeah. And back to when you were saying uh, Woodley wasn't using his um, reach, yeah. Chimaev is really using his reach. Yeah. He's using his reach, he's using height advantage, he's using his wrestling, he's using everything he got, and he's really using it to to smash you, literally yeah, smash he's you. Smash he's you, here yeah. to smash, and I really love the way he's, he's saying it. I'm here to smash everybody. <laughs> true, true. But what I what I think uh, with the fight against Gerald Mescard, he will f win the fight. Not easily, it will be... A little bit tough for him he will still smash mm -hmm. but uh, the thing is you know if you look at the fights of Gerald Meshart he he gives some positions away mm -hmm. where you can easily ground and pound and this that is just easy money for Kamza Chimaev well I w I'm not gonna say it's gonna be easy money because now the surprise is off like Chimaev is not um, this unknown fighter anymore people know they gotta be careful for him people know they gotta be watching out people know that if um, I don't watch, it's gonna knock me out because he also has a knockout power. So um, I believe that people and Joel. I don't know. I don't know Joel. Um, I don't know him that well. Uh, I hope he's smart enough to realize that he has no opportunity to mess it up. If he beats Chimaev, he is gonna be the next superstar. So um, yeah, I, I personally believe that 
Um, Jawald, if he is smart enough, he will be prepared. But Chimaev is going to win. I know Jawald well enough mm. to know that Chimaev is going to win. I agree. Him. Yeah. I, yeah, I could not disagree because uh, I I don't know if you've seen the sparring sparring session between uh, Kamza Chimaev mm -hmm. and Alexander Gustafsson. Mm, no, I've not seen it. Alexander Gustafsson was dropped really? by Kamza Chimaev with a liver shot. By a liver shot? Liver really? shot, really. Wow. So really? some people said it was a low blow, mm -hmm. but it wasn't a low blow. He literally hit him in the liver with a front kick and he dropped him. Oh, with so the front kick? So that is okay. crazy. That is just, that is yeah. crazy, man. The hype is real. I'm on the hype train. Yeah, you're on the hype train? Well, I want to see where this hype train is going to. Um, I'm not going to jump on it yet. I'm just really excited because I love when Dana White is having his uh, little fan and he's like wh what he did with Conor. I love when he has his little guys that's speaking. Yeah. So um, I'm really excited to see what the future brings for him. And I, I hope he can continue smashing people. <laughs> so guys, let us know in the comments what you think of Kamda Chimaev. We are fans of him. We want to see him grow. We want to see him fight. Especially Dima Maya. We want to see him fight against him. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. And for now, peace out. Ciao, ciao. Do not forget to subscribe on our YouTube oh, yeah. channel. Subscribe. Exactly. Guys, smash this like button and subscribe button. We'll see you. Bye.